Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a fixed footer using Oxygen. And just in case you happen to stumble across this video, Oxygen is a page builder or a site builder, whatever you want to call it, and uh, it's what I use to build my new Can't Wait Till Monday website. And when I finished the website, I posted it to the Oxygen Facebook group, and a little surprisingly, the fixed footers seem to get a lot of attention. Um, fixed footers have been around for a few years now. Uh, but they're actually a pretty good way to make your website feel more premium and, you know, just stand out and be a little different from all the other websites on the internet. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get that done using Oxygen. Okay, so before we get started, I wanted to show you an example of what a fixed footer looks like. So if we go to the Can't Wait Till Monday homepage and you slide down, you can see that, I'm sorry, scroll down, you can see that the content kind of uh, slides over and above the footer and the footer is just fixed in place at the bottom of the page and has all the content come above it. So that's what we'll be making. So if we go back to WordPress and this is essentially a fresh install. Um, I made a test page just from the Oxygen Design Library. It's just an example page that currently has no footer or no header and no footer template assigned to it. So going back, we're going to make that header and footer template. Go here, add a new template. We can call this main header plus footer. And then we want it to apply to, uh, you can choose whatever you want it to apply to, but we'll just have it apply to posts and pages and whatever else. So we'll hit publish there and then start editing it. Instead of making this from scratch, I'm just going to add a header and footer from the library. So we'll go add library design sets, and then I'll just choose one. Uh, we can do hosting for this example. And then sections and elements, and we'll pick a header. And then we need to add our inner, inner content. As you can see, it pulled in our test page. And then we need to add a footer. So here we can add this guy. And if we hit save and go back to our test page, we can see that it added the header and footer. And right now this behaves pretty normally. The footer just you know scrolls as it normally would. So to make this a fixed footer, let's go back into the editor. And then what we'll want to do is go to the footer, go to advanced, layout, and set the position to fixed, and then have it at the bottom of the page. So we'll set this to zero and this to zero. And then we want a Z index of negative one so that it appears under the content. Because otherwise, I think if we keep it like this, it'll just always appear at the bottom, which we don't want. We want it to reveal itself. So we'll go to, we'll put in negative one here, and that way it's basically gone now. Well, not gone, just hidden under this section. And then one other thing that we'll want to do is set a height for this footer. So for this example, we can just put in something like, uh, actually, I'll show you the easiest way to do it. If we just really quickly take this away for a second, and then come back here just so we can see it again. If you inspect the element, you can kind of get the height of it. So this is 273 pixels. We'll just set it to 300 to make it easier. So we'll put the Z index back and then set the height. 300 pixels. And then I think that's all for the footer. And then what we need to do is create an inner content container to separate the page from our footer. So this is usually enough on pages and posts, but for archives, 
um, Oxygen doesn't create the container around the elements within inner content. So we need to make one ourselves. So if we click add and we put in, I think just a div would work. Throw that there and then, okay, I don't know what happened here. Uh, get rid of that. So we just need the inner content within this div. There we go. And then we can rename this just so it's easier to keep track of. Inner content container. And then for this, we just wanna make sure the background color is set to white, just so it's not transparent. Because if it's transparent, then sometimes uh, some of your sections will uh, appear over the footer because they have a transparent background. So that's good for that. And then what we want to do is add a spacer element. So if we add another div, I don't want it in the footer, I want it above. And we can call this the footer spacer. Basically all this is gonna do is create some space uh, if you can remember when this hides behind this section, the spacer will just create some space at the bottom of the page. So with the spacer, we're gonna go to advanced and add a margin to it. Uh, sorry, not here, um, size and spacing. We're gonna add a bottom margin that's equal to the height of the footer that we set earlier. So in this case, it was 300 pixels. And as you can see, that adds some room for uh, the footer, um, but it did create this extra space, which we don't want. So we're going to set the height to zero pixels and the width to a hundred percent. So now this footer spacer is technically has no height, but has this bottom margin of 300 pixels. If we refresh, you can see that we now have the fixed footer effect. And I think that's pretty much it here. Um, one thing you'll wanna make sure you do is when you get into responsive screen sizes, the height of your footer might change. Um, so like if you have more links here, then you might find that your footer content will get hidden behind the sections. So you might need to adjust the height for different screen sizes. If we go back into the editor and look at the responsive sizes, um, so for example, if we go to less than 480 and we want to change the height of this footer because maybe there's some content that uh, gets hidden under the section, then we'll go to that footer and set the height to something different. So let's say it was 300 before and we want to change it to 400. That'll make the, the footer bigger and then we just need to adjust the spacer accordingly. So we'll add a bottom margin of 400 now, and that'll show the full footer. And then, sorry, I think the last thing was with the inner content container, you want to, on all devices, add um, overflow hidden, just so if anything, like a background image or a div or something, extends past the edge of this container, it doesn't come onto the footer. So we're just gonna save, take another look. You can see we have the taller footer here. If we exit responsive mode, we have our header and our beautiful fixed footer. All right, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, just leave a comment below so I know to make more of these videos. And I think for this one, I'll also include the short code so you can just take this template and import it into your own install. And that will be within the blog post. So if you want that, uh, just check out the blog post. I will put a link to that in the description below as well. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.